Anyway, as of the end of season one, uh, Quail has kind of decided to lie in the bed that he made with Claire. <laughs> so, but are you guys going to be able to work together or are you still going to kind of be at odds? Yeah, I mean, he starts off in an impossible position. And I think season two is all about the fact that you've all got to accept that you are at war and you've got to pick a side. And he and Howard and a bunch of people, they're still trying to have it both ways. And he can't betray her because of his daughter, but she's still not really giving him what he needs. So he's basically... But that makes people do interesting things. <laughs> So uh, a lot of the theme of season one, and probably season two, I assume, is like loving someone without knowing who they are and whether that's, that's possible. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Yeah. Um, so now that Quail knows that his wife was never actually his wife, yeah. how how convoluted are those emotions? Like, is there any love left, or? Oh yeah, and I think it's also complicated by the fact that it's family, and he did marry her, and he doesn't know what actually happened to his real wife, which. Uh, and the baby is the thing about it is that he knows that if he try to go alone and do the right thing and hand her in this baby's life is over and will become an experiment so yeah there is love there uh, and also he's someone who realizes that he can't really be on his own because he's got by on half a degree and a smile his whole life and uh, he needs this uh, support but he begins to find out he's made of stuff that he didn't realize, I think, which has been one of the great parts of season two. So like you mentioned, you and Howard are both kind of in the same boat. Mm. So are we going to see more of that dynamic develop? And what's that tentative partnership like? Yeah, early on in season two, most of, well, no, a bunch of my scenes are with Howard Prime, secret covert missions. And we're the only two people on this side who know the truth about Claire. And so therefore we have this kind of unhappy alliance. We're like a slightly grumpy old married couple that we don't really want to be together anymore, but uh, uh, we have to. So there's no love lost between them. And that's always really fun playing with JK and you can throw it around and surprise each other and try and get under each other's skin. And those are some really good scenes. Given that Betty Gabriel's character, Naya Temple, came on as sort of like yeah. to be working in tandem with you, I think. Well, the ironic thing is that she's come to help me find the mole that I'm doing everything not to find it. So once again, I have to be one person with her and someone else at home. And he's spread very thin, Peter Quayle. Something's going to happen. Are there any uh, actors that you haven't worked very much with yet that you'd like to do more with? On the show? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know what's interesting is that I did two seasons of another show with Olivia Williams, and I've now done two seasons of this show with her. I've barely ever had any dialogue with her, ever. I think you should team up, because she also said that she wanted to work with you. I would, yeah, I would really, I, I, I think she's a great actor, and I've worked with her for years, and we're really good friends, but we've never really done a scene. Uh, but, uh, again, that could change in season two of Counterpart. It could, it could. So what are, you, what are you most excited about for Quail or for the audience to see of Quail? Um, I am very excited for people to see him when he's completely off script, basically. He can't rely on any of his stuff. And he starts for the first time in his life thinking for himself and making decisions that he's going to have to take responsibility for and is, he's vulnerable and he's dangerous. And I think it's really interesting. I'm excited to see that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Have a great night.